Hi, guys. Um, my name is Amelie Sante, and um, I'm a senior here at the Telluride High School. Um, and so I did a virtual internship with a company called Emblematic Group. Um, and so uh, Emblematic Group is the leading creator of powerful virtual reality experiences. And so a lot of what they do is make these virtual reality scenes based off of uh, real stories and real events that have happened. And so um, they will create and stage powerful room scale virtual reality environments that place the user at the scene of the story and allow them to move around within that environment. Yeah. Um, and this is just an example of a specific virtual reality scene that Emblematic Group had made uh, that was based off of a real story that had happened. Um, and you can see that it just, it puts the users emotionally into the story. Okay, so for me, my internship was virtual, which meant we uh, would meet on Zoom. Um, so for about the first week of my internship, I sort of just got to know uh, the members of Emblematic, and I got to meet uh, Noni De La Pena, which was pretty cool, because she's considered the grandmother of virtual reality. Um, and near the end of the first week of my internship, I was introduced to what my main project would be. Um, and my project was to create a prototype virtual reality scene um, based off of a historical figure uh, for an up and coming project for Emblematic Group. And I say historical figure and not actually tell you who I'm talking about because uh, it's sort of still a uh, private project and it's not public yet. So I sort of have to keep certain details uh, to myself, but I have lots of examples, so. Um, but I started by doing a lot of research on uh, this historical figure to make sure that my virtual reality scene would be as accurate as possible. Um, and then I started using a program called Sketchfab. And Sketchfab allowed me to basically find any 3D model that I could possibly think of. And so I used Sketchfab to try to find different characters and buildings to create my uh, uh, virtual reality scene. Um, and so these are some examples of the different buildings and characters that I found in Sketchfab. Um, I have a, a church and then the interior of a church that I considered using. And then I also have some characters and I even looked at different landscapes as well. Um, and yeah. Um, so the next step was sort of pulling it all together to actually create my scene. Um, and I did this through a program called Reach which was actually created by Emblematic Group, and Reach basically allowed me to pull in uh, the different 3D models that I'd found in Sketchfab and pull it directly into Reach. Um, so this top image is what sort of a new project in Reach looks like. Um, it's sort of just like this blank world. And then this church right here is something that I pulled in from Sketchfab. It's uh, a building that I considered using, but then I didn't end up using for my own project. Um, and then this is the interior of that same church. And yeah. Um, I also used a couple different programs like Blender and Mixamo. I used Blender to sort of change different textures of buildings and I could change the lighting of characters just to sort of make my scene uh, sort of look good together and make sure that it all fit. Um, and then I used Mixamo to change the body positioning of certain characters because sometimes they'd be sort of stuck in very stiff positioning. Um, and Mixamo allowed me to go in and then move uh, their body positioning sort of however I wanted. Um, and it definitely was a lot of trial and error involved with Mixamo, but I learned a lot about uh, 3D animation and then 3D rigging as well. Um, and I can't show you my actual final project because uh, it's still just sort of very top secret stuff, but um, you'll just have to trust me that it looked really cool. <laughs> um, yeah. And for me, since my internship was virtual, it gave me the ability to continue playing soccer for my high school soccer team. We actually made it to the state championship game. We did get, yeah, woo! We got second, so just don't ask me what the final score was. Just kidding. But, <laughs> um, and I also got pulled on a couple of hikes because it's not my favorite thing to do, but <laughs> um, yeah. And my advice for future Pinterns is just to make the best out of your internship. 
Um, I know for me, I was supposed to go to California in the beginning for mine, but it ended up being virtual, and it's just important to make it work, whatever sort of you're handed. Um, and to not be nervous to ask questions, because you know, you're there to learn, and the people there are here to help you, so you just want to make sure you're always asking as many questions as you can. And obviously to have fun. And, and then just my thank yous, of course, to Sarah. Okay. She's right there. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> um, and yeah, just the rest of my list. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.